This week I'm in the tipper, I'm in the wee Hitachi, pick up and trailer and the dump truck and the beaver trail. I'm the Dara Girl, this is episode 60, let's go. We're on Monday morning and this morning I am in the wee Hitachi. I don't know how I managed to get this because I was here before dad but he's on our way up to Kubota and I'm left in the Hitachi. Now what I'm doing this morning is scraping the road. If you watched my video from last week, you would have seen me coming up this road here. It was really tricky and got, nearly got stuck and stuff. So we're having to scrape it to get it back out. But um, one problem with the Hitachi is there's no tilty bucket on it, which is going to make life harder. So instead of just using your thumb to tilt the bucket to get the angle and camber to scrape the road, you've got to do the whole machine. So you've got to put the machine on one side and the machine on the other. So it's um, going to take a little bit longer than just using your thumb. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I've done it before, but it's going to take longer. So that's today's job. I'm going to just go to the top of the hill and see how we get on. We've got to take the dumper out and the lorry was up there. So dad will start from that end. I'll start from this end and we'll hopefully meet in the middle somewhere. That's the plan just now anyway. So let's see how we get on. This bit here isn't actually too bad. That bit down there was really bad. You'll see there where the tire tire mark was. A good bit over. I'm just sitting on that that mark to try and get me tilt this way a little bit. Um, but it is pretty difficult to do with just this normal bucket on. It's the camper because obviously it's old tire underneath either, so you can't be going too hard on it or you'll rip up the old tire. And after a shower of rain, all that will be tidied up. It's always good practice, even if you are the house here like this, just to flatten all that side off as well. And then the grass will be thrown over it in a few weeks, hopefully. This weather stays up. We really should have a tilly bucket for this machine. I don't really know why we don't. Um, something we have to get, but he has talked about swapping this machine out. This one up here, that bit's not too bad, there's not much there to scrape, so I'll just gradually bring it to a wee end here. So this bit here is pretty good. Not good by any means, but there's not much to scrape there. It's just where the lorry's been hitting the verge. How's that for a Monday morning view? Big bit of grease. So this was a bit last week that I got stuck on, um, just there, you can probably see it's a bit of a mess. So we thought we'd give it a go at going up the dodgy bit while I had half a load in the back and clearly got stuck so Dad's just out trying to clean a bit to get a bit of traction going up here. The bit on the verge there, that was when it was spinning and it kicked it out and it started to go down a hill because the camber is facing down a hill there. So all this bit's going to be neat and scraped in the middle and that side, this side's okay, um, but it's going to be a nightmare to go back down here. If it stays dry, it'll be fine, but we'll see how we get on with us. So Dad just came round to see me there, seen how I was getting on. I've done pretty far in, probably done the scrape about 90% of the way up to here. Some bits weren't needing done. So he's came to say he's gonna go get a tipper. He was asking me to do it and I was like, why don't you do it? Just do it. And then he's away to get it, so we'll see how we got on with him having a go of it. There's a few rough bits around there where we're just gonna fill in with gravel, level it off roughly with this, and then we'll get it in the six tonne when the six tonne comes out with the tilting bucket on it. Here he comes. You wonder why we're not in there, Dipper? So it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we need to get the tipper out of this bit of road by today, um, even just back up to the tar, because if the rain comes in, this is going to go pretty rubbish again. So that's, he's going to put some gravel on these bits and then get a lorry out of here. 
You can see how narrow it actually is. <laughs> There's not much room there at all for error. What's he doing? Oh, he's Here, I'll go out and pick them up, stumping a few wee bits of the planes we had left from our other day into the bad potholes. And there, uh, yeah. Okay. It's so hard trying to get the shape without the well, near impossible trying to get the shape without the hotel on the tell you buckets. That's not too bad. Get that with the tidy that up over the six tonner when the six tonner comes out. So it's fine for now. Well, that is us all done. That's just heading out this road now. Covered a fair bit of ground today with doing that as well. So that's good. It's all scraped and the tipper's back down onto the tar. Well, the better tar. So um, yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow. So I'll see you then. We're on Tuesday morning and this morning we are going to take the Hitachi back to the road end. So I've got the trailer on just now. Just going to probably track the Hitachi down a little bit, I think, because there's some planes last night that we tipped out that needs to spread off roughly. Dad will get up when the 600 when he comes behind me. I think I'll start the Hitachi, take the trailer down to the bottom of the hill, walk back up and get my pickup. It doesn't really matter which way. No, that's it. I'll take this down to the bottom of the hill, walk back up and get that. I'll go and start that and heat, heat it up because it takes a wee bit to heat up that machine. Look at that view. It just never gets old. Good way to get my morning steps in as well. That also enjoys it too. That's my only stitch here. The reason this is washed out is because there's no ditch at all. So watch it's going onto the road and washing it out. I'm just putting these over roughly just now. I'm saying roughly, they're getting flattened off. But there'll be no shape to it. So Dad will come with the other machine in, put a ditch in there, and put some shape to this bit of road. It's a lot better. Nothing had put that side into the stump. I've got a tip to that side, plugs. You're developing this big bit. This so put a ditch in there and some off, it's up the top to catch the water before it runs down to the bottom bit. That'll be the plan. It's like out here, it's a long, long way out. Five kilometres to be exact from the very top to the cattle pit and then it's a further bit through there, which we are doing this time. The end is nearly in sight. I'm saying the end, this just needs to go on the pickup and then I'm pulling it away out of that road down there. So um, yeah, let's get this loaded up. It's windy. So 
So we have to have it sitting quite far back in the trailer um, just for the weights. If not, my pickup would be in its back end and that's sitting there. Crazy out there. At least it's dry though. The rain was supposed to be coming. Now I didn't take this many to dig it in, but I am almost 90% sure that I seen a bucket lying in the verge down here, so I'll need to keep a lookout for that and throw that on at some point as well. I don't know why he's just left it. Maybe he had it to help a ditch and I don't know. Oh yeah, I knew he'd left it somewhere. Thrown down there, I'm gonna lift it up and throw it in the trailer because if not, it's just gonna be a hassle later on trying to get it um, with the other machine or putting it back the pickup. I should manage it myself. That's the reason why I'm going to the gym and deadlifting. That's 10 times easier than tracking it along quicker and better for the machine. Them tracks are pretty new, they're only a few months ago, but it's not good tracking it that way. Any machine if you can help it. The Kubota and the track dumper got taken in here with Graham with his tractor trailer. And it'll get tracked, the machine will get tracked out, the sixth time will get tracked out here, and the track dumper will get put back in here. Only because the sixth time machine's got some ditching and stuff to do. But yeah, the, the rollers and stuff are not liking this. Um, so, I need to get that sorted. <laughs> so always something. Yes, yeah, so I went to this off and started scraping going up that road. I'll leave my pickup and trailer here and um, see how we get on. another thing let's um, test my reversing skills perfect can't really go wrong which if I get empty space to reverse it into I'm just going to take this off and leave it here because I don't know what that's plans are they change every second just put that bit of wood down there just in case it sinks down a little bit, which it probably will because it is onto grass. Last time I done that, people were getting on at me for not putting the brake on and off. It's not going anywhere, it's fine. We never usually put the brakes um, on them because if we sit for a while and they seize and jam and you have to rattle the rattle to get them off, so we just tend not to use it unless it's on a hill or something, but even then, we usually just chop the wheels instead. I can go and start doing some work now. All that messing about does, time does add up. Quite a lot of tar there actually, it was quite wide. Here, I don't know if it's worth leaving this bit for dad, the utility bucket. Because this is obviously doing strain, it's not getting tied. I need the, to put it right down and tilt it so it can get like a like sloping down. It would make a much better job um, than this is doing right now. That is me all done. I, I'm hooked back up to the trailer, like I said. Dad changes his mind every second and going to head into the building merchants in town to get some sand for his old cottage so i'm going to do that and then he can meet me halfway and that'll be my day done thankfully see you guys tomorrow we're on wednesday morning this morning we are back up this road again and i'm in dad's nevada i've got the trailer on we are heading for out there's quite a lot going on this morning dad's i've just dropped him off at the six ton kubota there he is heading out scraping the road and doing some ditching I'm heading up to get the track drum 
dumper with the pickup and trailer and going to take that to the road end where we'll be able to come in with a six wheeler machine and pick up the Kubota and the track dumper at the same time. The battery is dead on the track dumper so I'm going to have to jump it and track it out a bit and then load it up in here and take it right to the road end again. We've got until Friday to get out of this job. We're on Wednesday now. Dad's still got about two and a half kilometres to go with a Kubota and we've got to get the dumper out, the lorry out, the welfare out, the attaches at the road end needing to be pulled out and the boat needs to be pulled out as well. So we'll be getting some of it taken out today. The lorry will be going out today and possibly take the Hitachi away today because I think we are done with it. I think that could all change. Let's go and get this dumper jump started and track it out a little bit. Right, let's see if we can get this jump started. Hopefully that'll stay there. Let's try this. Fingers crossed it starts now. Yay! Right, now that is it all started. I'm gonna take this pick up down past this horrible bit with the trailer so it can track that track dumper out a bit because it was not gonna be nice in the trailer coming out this dodgy little bit here. So yeah, that's my plans. Walk back, I mean dipper get a wee wander as well. Walk back, pick up the dumper, track out, get it on. So let's go do that. Right, so how this dumper works is very, very simple. You've got the revs here, handbrake here, that's how you put the skip up and down and the skip can undo that and the chair can spin round so the chair can sit that way and you can be forward facing both ways so the skip either in front of you or behind you. That's it, it's a really simple, really good wee thing. So let's get out this road. I actually never explained how to turn it so you just go forward and back and then turn one way and the other way. I'm actually going back which is now but whatever. But that's how you do it. Let's keep on tracking dips. I'm going to reverse the trailer back down here because this bit is a flash kind of area for loading it. Just enough to get this door up. <laughs> up. Just put it forward a little bit again, but this will still hold it here. I'm leaving the dumper running at the back of the trailer because the last thing I want is to get down there and then it not to start again. Although after a run it should start, but you never know. Like in the head. Now I've been away for a wee while at the time I've went and done all that and I don't know if it's dad but there's someone standing up in that hill there. <laughs> hope it's him not trying to get signal to see if I'm still alive or not because I've had no signal either. I doubt my dad's going to be worried about me. I'm never ever usually stuck. I've never had been touched wood. I always manage something and I've never had any severe mess up that I can't solve myself. <laughs> but we never know. He might have been worried at me for once. He's always taught me if I want something done to do it yourself. If you're not going to do it, who's going to do it? So if I'm stuck away up there, who's generally going to come help me? There's going to be no one. So I've always managed to work a way around of doing, getting it sussed out yourself. And the only way to learn that is to make the mistakes yourself to learn that. I don't think it's going to be him. I think it's going to be maybe, I thought it was a fisherman who was down here, but obviously not. Maybe he's looking for birds or eagles or whatever you call it, wildlife. There he is, so while I've been away he's done a ditch all down this side. 
don't see many offlets so. But anyway, there he is, ditching away in his element. Landing all the complicated stuff. You just sit there, I'll get it all. Well, we made it anyway. So the plan is the six wheeler will get down here, we can get turned here, we can get loaded this up and the Kubota up on the other lorry and take it away. Which is good. And then this will obviously go in the back of the trailer. So you just do that wee switch there, it clips into the air, the seat. You oh, lift it round, clips back in, and then you're always forward facing. So let's get this off. Very tight. There we are. Now my plan is to drop the trailer off here because there's no point towing it all the way back up that road. And let's see what Dad's cracking. Let's see what he's got. What to steal for lunch? Then take any lunch again, and then pull the lorry out before we go home. I might just walk back up and get the lorry to give me. A bit of exercise and give me something to do as soon as it looks like he's been giving up that digger today. So yesterday I just took off the trailer and never showed you guys how to do it and I know, let's bear in mind, I know probably 90% of you do know how to drop the trailer but some of you might not. I know when I first started my dad just expected me to know how to do it, all these things so maybe if one of you takes something from this video then there we are. So first thing we've got this key in there just to stop that spinning round when we're driving, this is over there, which it should not be, if you're on the road it should be onto the wee clips in there. This is where the, the lights, ow my finger, <laughs> ah. the wheel down, it's really simple, and then pull that up and wind this at the same time. I'm just putting that bit of wood down just so it doesn't sink into the grass. Just like that, that is me clear. And just like that, I am back in the tipper. I'm going to head out and get another load of planings and take it all the way back into where the Hitachi is at the road end. Just for if we holes do form and we're not here, they can put a wee bit in the back of the trailer and put it out themselves kind of thing. The chances are I'll probably never get done, but the stuff will be there for them anyway. If potholes are caught when they're small, a wee bit put in them, then that always always helps so be my last run out this road for now for another few years hopefully i've just found the key for the dumper in my pocket and i'm gonna have to throw this back out with dad because if not i'll end up forgetting it's in there and end up losing it that was just lucky that i put my hand in my pocket and found it there before i go away well that's me back in the old hindi now get this loaded up get it fired up quickly get a wee load up there and that'll be it um, I'm going to try and do it before the red light comes on saying feed me, feed me, so let's get this done. So that's me all loaded and heading back up here. You might be wondering why I have glasses on sometimes as well in my videos. These are Ray-Ban Meta glasses, so they actually film for me as well. I honestly love them. They film like portrait ways for Instagram, TikTok, shorts, whatever. There's wee microphones in them and speakers so I can actually speak on the phone which is nice that I'm stuffing your ears all the time, they're just above you there and what else to do, play music as well. So yeah, I love these glasses but if you're wondering why sometimes I've got them on and sometimes I don't and sometimes they're sunglasses not, that's what it is, they're filming. From day to day or minute to minute, I don't know what we're doing, so we made plans earlier on and then Dad came up and changed them again, so I'm running in with this tip out, I'm going to take it back to the yard, pick up the six wheeler for Dad and take it down to the area of what we're in just now. Honestly, me and Dad don't know where we're coming and going. Every time we meet each other, we think of a different plan and think of something else to do. He worries too much about what I'm doing on I'm already got. I'm already one step ahead of him. I've already got it planned out in my head what we're doing. So I think I'm just going to tip it back here, not on the best bit of the bit to turn, because I need to turn the, others, turn the six wheeler when we come down. So there's a gate there also, so I don't want to put it right in front of the gate. I'm just somewhere it's going to be enough out the way for the farmers but also close enough to like load up the trailer if they want. 
So what I do, the first thing when I'm on the tipper is open the back doors, so just switch that up. That's a gate unlocked. Clutch down, P2 on, shows you there. And with a P2 on, that allows the hydraulic to go to the ram on the tipper. So without doing that, the tipper wouldn't go up. And then this is down here, up for up, down for down. Hopefully this is all right where I'm gonna tip it, but. It's not that big a load. If you just give it a wee bit of accelerator as well, then it will put the ram up a bit quicker. There's also this camera here. It's not so clear, but you can see all the planes coming out. I'm just gonna put the timber back down so you just fill it in like that and it locks in place so it can actually just go down automatically. While I'm doing that, I'm going to jump out and see there's nothing shut in the back door before I shut it. There we are. Turn it off like that. Close that door. That's us, good to go. It's easy as that. Look at that cottage now, it's getting pointed away. It's looking brilliant. What a difference. I just went along and got a wee cup of tea with my mum. Oh, look. Dad's put the pipe in the yard. He must have done that at the weekend there. How much better is that? Just need that bit tidied up, but that's looking so much better. So yeah, we got a wee cup of tea off my mum and I'm just going to swap these lorries over and head down with the beaver tail for Dad. Reverse it in under the zap shelter. Perfect. Right, we'll swap these over now. Right, this is where I'm going for the gear stick. Don't need a gear stick, need to watch tail swing, need to remember I'm a good bit longer than that lorry. Let's take out no fence posts, no containers, no zap shelter, no gear changes. We've got a clutch though. This guy is an Opticruise, which means you need a clutch for starting and stopping, but not for changing gear. I keep going for the gear stick. There we are, job is done. So yeah, I shall see you guys tomorrow. We're on Thursday morning. This morning I have just been in at my local post office sending some merch away. But it's a sad day there because the post office and shop is closing today. I'm gonna miss that so much. It was like two minutes round from my house and Sandra and it was great. I could just leave big bundles with them and they would just do it all day. And then the next time I was in the shop, I'd get my receipt. So it worked in really, really good for me and it saved me hanging about in the mornings, posting it all off, they just done it all for me. So I am going to miss that a lot. But anyway, apart from that, the day is great. It's a lovely blue sunny day. And remember yesterday when I said to you that the lorry, six wheel would be going in to pick up the track dumper and the Hitachi. Well, dad told me this morning at quarter to seven to see if I wanted to shift Arthur's machine for him. And I was like, well, he actually texted me at half nine last night and I didn't see it and he phoned me at um, half six, quarter to seven this morning and asked me if I wanted to do it. But um, I told him to get on with it himself because that's all he had to do last night. I'd done everything else for him. Bear in mind, I was up till 10 o'clock doing invoices and stuff for him too. So this morning he said, go and get the lorry and what am I doing? I am going to pick up the track dumper and the Hitachi. I'm going to take the track dumper back into town to drop it off. I am then going to take the Hitachi. There's a wee, um, someone's got a leaking water pipe over the big water track we done last year, last, this time last year, because Graham was lambing, Graham was helping me, kept having to go and check the lambs. So this time last year, Dad's going over there on tomorrow or something. So the Hitachi will get dropped off there. And then that'll probably be it. I don't know, maybe not. My kiddies, uh, my girl is at a like, music Easter school today. She's actually with my old fiddle. I used to play the fiddle, which is a Scottish version of the violin. And she's away with my, my old one and it's 
20, almost 20 years ago that fiddle was mine and now my daughter's away playing it which is really nice. That's her and then Johnny Boy he's away in the lorry with his daddy so he's obviously having the time of his life and we get all the timber so yeah see what else the day brings. Righty oh that is me all ready to go. This road I'm going up I've never been up with a six wheeler before been up with a four, four wheeler as you would have seen with the tip art but never been up with a six wheeler. Now this is a little bit longer when I have the axle up there's maybe a foot or two in the wheelbase from the front wheel to the middle wheel on this from the front to the back wheel of the tipper the two wheels of the tipper there's about a foot difference maybe not quite that but then when I have the tag down so the tag so um, the one at the back it will be even longer however I'm going for the gear stick again there's no gear stick in this truck however because I'm only having the three ton track dumper and the mini digger attach it to 2.6, whatever it is, I will not need the axle down because I can lift the tag because it's only going to be three, four, five ton. It's roughly. So um, hopefully I'll make it in and out okay. I'll just have to really, really, really take my time um, for catch a bear just for this. It's not raining for the bear, it's just been a little bit softer. What have you? I'm just thinking there. Mind yesterday, I gave Dad the key for the track dumper. Do you think he's remember to leave it in the road in the dumper at the road end for me. I really 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 hope he has. <laughs> I'm sure he has. Oh look at him, he's actually got them all fired up for me too. Let's go and get loaded up. So the dumper's going on first because I I'm gonna drop that off first. No, last I'm gonna drop this off first. What a load. <laughs> and what a view. I'm gonna miss that. That's all loaded up and back out of the road. Right, I'm back at this dodgy hill again and I don't know how this is gonna go. Usually this is okay because you can lift the axe of salt and transfer weight, so I'm gonna just transfer the weight and hope and pray that I get up this hill. Made it. That's a lot better than the tipper I'm trying to get up there because it's heavier on the back so it's not spinning as much. What do you think tipper? Look at that for another view. Someone's down there enjoying a little bit of fishing. Just gonna throw off this Hitachi dead quickly. It's just by the roadside here, so I'll be really quick at doing this and then get on to my next one. So as I 
I said earlier, it's been about a year since we've been up here. Um, and look, we're still sitting here. This is how much of an absolute <laughs> joke we are just now and how busy we've been. Our trailer's still sitting there with the water pipe still on it. We need to get back and get this water track finished. This is all done. Just a bit under the bridge and then a bit of the house. Honestly, we've just not had a minute. So dad will need to get that away as well. It's been a long time sitting there. So yeah, I'm just going to drop this up here through the gate for him and he'll get that done this weekend. Hopefully. Just put the machine away over here so no one can see it from the road and also so it's away from them. There's wires there, cables. Oh, I'm wishing I'm never still sitting there. I really did abandon the ship and leave this job. Now that's that all done. My next step now is to go to DJ Camel's yard. Ian Bot ordered us new um, chains and dwags. So while I'm in the water, I'm just gonna nip along and get them and throw them on. These ones have well passed their sale by date. The chains aren't too bad. The dwags are just getting a bit older and worn. So we've gone for short chains and so we can just like put them off the side on the machines and tie them down rather than have to jump up and put them over and through and whatever else. Hopefully Ian has not used them. Well, I don't mind if he's used them. Hopefully they're there. I spoke to him in the pub a few weeks ago. He said that he thought he was going to have to use them himself for his loader, which would also be fine, but as long as they're there for me to pick up now. If not, it's not the end of the world. I can get them another time. Got my new chains and dwangs and Tommy also gave me these. I was struggling putting up Johnny's shelves in his bedroom and uh, I was explaining to Tommy about needing something and he gave me the right bits. All, all these guys looking after me, they're all so good to me. So yeah, next stop is go and drop the track, dr track dumper off. There we are, just like that, all empty again. Uh, now my last stop for the day is to go and get some fencing material. Um, so that's not far away from here. Go and get that and then that'll be it. There we are, that's all the stobs and the fence material all parked up. And that's me done for today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday morning and I actually forgot that I have a day off today. I don't know how I forgot, but I did and I even planned to do work today. The boys are coming to lay out the pipe for the ground source, what I've been digging at the start of the week and the last video. So my dad's went in today to take over that because I obviously am not there. The kids are on Easter holidays. My girl's got a music face concert thing today, so... I'm good at that, so I've got a day off. So I'm going to really enjoy it and have a good long weekend off. So as always, thanks for the comments, likes and support and coming back each week and watch me. Make sure you come back next week and see what I'm up to. Oops. Um. Why can't I speak today? <laughs>